Um, what's your feeling, looking out sort of in the future for the 21st century, what kind of education, no matter what institution they go to, whether it's a big university like University of Alabama or it's a small liberal arts college like, like Birmingham Southern, um, what, should, what should students be looking at in terms of their own learning? and what, what should their priorities be? I think probably the best way I can answer that is relating it to the field I know best, which is Spanish. When I meet with students every semester in office hours, I'll say, so why are you interested in Spanish? And I think sometimes students think, because I teach Spanish, I want everyone to be a Spanish teacher. But the reality is, and I tell them this in class, I want them to be really good at Spanish, but not to teach. Some will want to teach, and that's fine. But I found in my seven years here, some want to teach Spanish more, want to use Spanish in business, or Spanish in law, or Spanish in the military, or Spanish in religious service. We have a lot of students who have relationships with mission, mission churches in Mexico or Guatemala or other areas in Latin America, and it's quite helpful to speak Spanish and help with that. I've had a couple of students go into the military using Spanish. When I got here in 2002, a law school student who kind of knew these things told me at that time, Tuscaloosa, which has about 80,000 people, had no Spanish-speaking lawyers. And Birmingham, which has about a half million people, had one. Now, there were law offices with a Spanish-speaking paralegal or secretary, but I would tell my students, you want to be a lawyer and you speak Spanish and you move to Birmingham, there aren't many of you, and that's a wonderful thing for your business and for the Hispanic community. So I guess my message to students is, especially at this moment in this country, Spanish is a great, great skill to have in any field you want to go in. So whatever your reason is for studying Spanish, it doesn't kind of matter to me. I'm just happy that you're studying Spanish. Well, go back then to your liberal arts thing, and we were talking about professions, because because the, a good Spanish, a good set of Spanish skills could get you a great job. Mm -hmm. But then why does the department require Cervantes? I mean, what does that have to do with being a lawyer in Birmingham? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the way our curriculum is structured, which is pretty typical for languages, is you start just learning to write and speak and understand and some cultural things through the 100 and 200 level. Then you learn about civilization and some history. And then pretty much at the higher levels, it's about linguistics or literature, mostly literature. I'm OK with that. And I think, of course, I love Don Quixote. When you read Don Quixote, it's not just literature. It's Spanish culture, Spanish society, and not just Spain, but also Latin America. And not just Spain and Latin America, you're reading what is, most critics agree, the first modern novel. So you're reading the novel, oh, I'll ignore that. You're reading the novel that, you know, Dostoevsky read. You're reading the novel that yeah. all the great novelists have read. And that's a, that's a fun thing to, to teach and to learn, I think, for students. Plus it's a great story. It's a great story, it's a fun story. Uh, it's, yeah, I tell students don't be scared, laugh or cry or whatever, but just enjoy it. That's great. Thanks, Bill. Sure.